According to a new Gallup poll, support in America for the death penalty is at its lowest level in over 40 years. Now, that's the headline that was all across the internet on all the different news sites. But the specifics are uh, kind of paint a different picture. That headline, although it's true, is slightly misleading. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Now, uh, to give you some uh, a backstory on this, around the time of the 1972 Furman versus Georgia Supreme Court case, uh, support for the death penalty in the U.S. dropped to its lowest point, and uh, that was it was under. 50%, less than 50% of the American people were in favor of the death penalty. And by the way, there was a brief period around that time that uh, the death penalty was ruled unconstitutional. The Supreme Court said that the application of the states to use the death penalty wasn't allowed. But then eventually, of course, that was reversed and it's allowed today and it's been for a while now. But get this, even with the uh, lowest approval rating for the death penalty in 40 years, it's 60% approved. 60% of the American people say, yeah, death penalty, rock and roll, let's do it. Now look, I find that fascinating because when you look at European nations, when you look at the rest of the modern industrial world, they're like, no, 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 we don't kill people <laughs> we, at all. We're not in favor of that. Even if somebody kills themselves and murders, we punish them like civilized adults because we don't want to stoop down to their level and do the same thing essentially, right? So it's, the U.S. is kind of unique on this issue, and by the way, the list of countries that we're on that also do the death penalty is not a flattering list. It's not a group of countries you would want to be associated with at all. So um, to give you more specifics on this, when you look at the total picture in the world, 51% of the countries in the world have abolished the death penalty. A majority have, has abolished the death penalty. 25% still have it on the books, but have not used it for at least 10 years. So it's essentially a, a moratorium. 4% retain it for crimes committed in exceptional circumstances. So they have it, but they use it very rarely. And only 20% of the world's countries maintain the death penalty in both law and in practice. The United States is one of those countries. So look, what's, what's my takeaway from this? I'm gonna say the same thing I always say when we talk about the death penalty. It's one of those issues where, and I know a lot of progressives might disagree with me on this, it's one of those issues where I'm as split as anybody could possibly be. And what I mean by that is, look, if we lived in a world where we could actually get perfect information and get it all the time, I would be for the death penalty. Now, why do I say that? Because, look, I think there are crimes that exist that can be committed that prove beyond any reasonable doubt that somebody is beyond rehabilitation. That they're, you know, they're a complete and utter danger to society. They should never be in society. And the only proper punishment for, just to use a random example, somebody who might murder 20 children and then rape them, the only proper punishment for that is, yes, we need to get, eliminate that guy's life. Not all lives are created equal. His li life is worthless, and the world would have been better without it. Kill his punk ass. So from a theoretical and philosophical perspective, I think the death penalty makes all the sense in the world. You kill the people who kill so they can no longer kill. And you eliminate a problem. Yes, some people can be a problem. But, and here's the massive caveat, we don't live in a world where you can have perfect information. So what that means is oftentimes we convict the wrong people. And you sentence to death the wrong people. And when you do that, isn't the death penalty committing murder? And if that's the case, by that own logic, then shouldn't the death penalty get the death penalty and you're not allowed to kill anymore? I mean, that's the central paradox of the death penalty. And look, the final point I want to make here is that in the United States, I, I, almost, I don't even care that 60% of the American people are for the death penalty. Now, why? Because it doesn't matter. They're, they're wrong. Now, when I say they're wrong, I don't mean that their opinion is illegitimate. Of course, they're allowed to have that opinion all they want. But the Eighth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution says you have a protection from cruel and unusual punishment. That is a right. That is a right. And guess what? By definition, the death penalty is unusual because a majority of the countries don't have it. And of course, the death penalty is cruel. Really? Killing somebody isn't cruel? Okay, I'll go. How about somebody kills a member of your family? How would you, would you say that's cruel if somebody killed somebody in your family? 
Yes, that's the most loaded question I've ever asked in my life. So it's unconstitutional either way. And if we actually want to follow the Constitution, well, we have to strike down the death penalty at every level.